Three, two, one. Yeah, hold on a second, I got something here. Hold on. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, sorry, hold on. Minor adjustment, minor adjustment. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Give me a minute. Wow, this is awkward. I certainly hope you've never been that guy. But let's face it, you may be asked to film a change of command. Capture. I meant to say capture. Or an award ceremony, or another live event, and it could be your first time using Flash. Here's some tips on how to avoid that awkwardness. Know your gear. Sounds simple enough, but even if you are familiar with DSLRs and flashes, each unit is different, and you need to make sure you know how it all works before you head out the door. Always use fresh batteries, pack extra batteries, memory cards, and even an extra flash unit in case your primary goes down. Get to the location early. If it's your first time in this location, you're going to want to make sure you know the ambient lighting conditions, where your subjects will be standing, and the order of events. Make friends with someone and ask them to help you stage the action for a test shot. This will inform you of what to set your shutter and aperture to for the ambient light, and you can see the best way to angle your flash. We won't be going through every option on this individual flash unit, just know that most units you come across will have two modes, manual or TTL, through the lens. When working in manual mode, you set the intensity of the flash based on your scene's ambient light, as well as the distance of the flash source from your subject. This can be a trial and error process. TTL mode will analyze how far you are from your subject and will determine your flash intensity based on its calculations using a pre-flash. This is helpful when shooting live events because it compensates for if your subjects move. Now, if you're shooting in manual mode, you might not have time to adjust your flash and you could miss the shot. That's another situation you want to avoid. Blasting your subjects with the flash is a great way to make them unhappy and a surefire way to make your photos look really, really terrible. Whenever possible, bounce your light off the ceiling or off of a flash card. Again, trial and error. With most modern cameras, you can even boost your ISO to help bring in more ambient light and lessen the amount of flash you need. Again, get there early and don't be afraid to ask a bystander for help. In a large room like this, you're at a bit of a distance, so shooting the flash right at your subject may be the only way to go. Know your gear, grab out the diffuser and experiment. Do your best to limit those unwanted harsh shadows. It's your job not just to capture the moment, but to capture it in the most aesthetically pleasing way you can, even when your location or access to your subjects are not ideal. And that's why you get paid the big bucks. There's a ton of math behind calculating flash formulas if you want to dig deeper. Personally, I hate math. But if you want to step up your game, I suggest doing some research online and digging into your CDCs for a more in-depth breakdown of flash photography. Seems legit to me.